a lot of lives, but not enough. Which is why before you go, I want to urge you all to go to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells or click the link in the description and donate money if possible. We're literally not profiting a dime off this video. 100% of the money we raise is going to go towards building more wells like you saw in this video all around the globe. I know it's weird that a YouTuber has to do all this stuff, but someone's got to do it. And if no one else is, we're going to do it. As you can tell, it really does change the lives of the communities where we build them. And finally, welcome to my channel. So the most subscribed YouTuber whom you've just seen on the intro, Mr. Beast, was in Kenya recently on a philanthropic mission of building 100 wells in Africa. So he managed to build 52 wells, donated computers to some schools and furniture, and also donated books and footballs. Then he also managed to build a bridge in a remote village. After his Kenyan mission, he headed to Zimbabwe, where he built a well in a maternity hospital, then went to a school and donated bicycles to students who had no transportation mode to and from school. After that, he went to Uganda, Somalia, and Cameroon. But his good deeds sparked a lot of mixed reactions. Let's just see what people had to say on the comment section of his Instagram page. His uh, Instagram page, he put up a post showing himself on the first project. That's him. That's the heavy equipment. That's the first drill. So on the comment section, somebody's thanking him. Another one also thanked him. Then you can see this one said, Africans build wells for Africans in Africa. This is no news, man. Go build wells for rural people in Alaska. They need it. Yale always painting Africa as impoverished. We are not. We are the richest continent in the world. Thanks, but no thanks. Obviously, that one is against Mr. Beast's mission. Then another one, what a waste of water. All that water coming out of the well and going into the dirt's waste. Shame on you for causing water to be wasted. Oh, <laughs> that is against him. Another one says, don't just say Africa. Africa is a continent, not a country. There are lots of countries there. You could have just mentioned the country you dug the well for. I live in Nigeria and I have access to clean and running water. I don't even go out to get it. <laughs> and I was saying, I can't wait to see what negative narrative people are, uh, what negative um, narrative people are going to try to create out of this video. Another one says, the man is doing more um, in the world than charities have been doing for decades. So obviously that one is a supporter. Another one says, this is dope. Now help me, a 16-year-old from Flint, Michigan, get clean water to America next. I've been doing this since I was 12. That's a supporter, but wants his efforts to be channeled back to America. Another one is urging him to do something for brothers in Palestine. So that could be a supporter, but just wants him to divert his attention to Palestine. Another one also asks for help for Palestine. Another one says, Africa is not a country, dude. I don't know the stereotype and agenda you're trying to push, but I can certainly tell you face to face that you're doing all that, not because you care, but for some personal interests and gains. Obviously, that's not a fan of Mr. Beast. Oh, the other one talks about Palestine. Thank you for helping the children with the reliable, clean sources of water, Mr. Beast. That one is a supporter, but also wants him to help Palestine. Then another one says, someone's doing good. Don't care if after this video he makes times two of what he spent to shoot the video. The man is literally saving lives. The government of this countries are literally living with them in the same country but an outsider came to help yet somehow he still receives hate from it it's a funny world that one is obviously a supporter see that uh, he's got supporters and uh, 
there's some people who are cynical about his actions. So all this goes to show that you cannot please everyone, no matter how good your deeds are. So when it comes to Kenya, let's just see what people had to say. Yeah, so there, somebody says, Mr. Beast for president. Another one said, uh, blessed. That one's obviously, obviously a supporter. Then another one says, let's ask ourselves why he focused more on Kenya than any other country in Africa. I think that's because Kenya got the lion's share of the wells because he built 52 wells in Kenya and the other 48 was shared between Zimbabwe, Uganda, Somalia and Cameroon. Then another one said, if an MCA that is a member of county assembly buys a tank, <laughs> they'll announce it on a billboard that's bigger than the tank they bought. So that one is making fun of uh, politicians. And then another one is saying, doing more than the Kenyan government. Another one is criticizing the Kenyan president, <laughs> claiming that he just talks and no action. Another one says, Mr. Beast for president. Another one says, why do they make Africa look like a starving continent? He should have just said Kenya. That one is obviously sort of against him. I don't know whether his problem is uh, because he mentioned Africa as a whole continent or if he's just against Mr. Beast's mission. Another one said, this guy should be on the news from morning to evening. You are showing us the king who didn't bring anything. If you're not aware, King Charles visited Kenya recently. So that one must be a supporter of Mr. Beast. Another one wants Mr. Beast to be the president. And then another one says the president will say he spoke to Mr. Beast to build the wells while local politicians will take credit for the wells and label them donated by honorable so-and-so. That's true, especially during campaigning season. I'm sure some politicians will try to take credit for the projects. Another one said uh, he's only 25. He, from uh, the comments from Kenyans, it seems like uh, this mission has exposed the people in charge of running the country as being incompetent. So if you watch the video, you can see it didn't take long to drill those wells. And I want to think the government or the uber wealthy individuals in the country can afford to do what Mr. Beast and his team have done. That is if they set their minds on it. But for the cynics who have uh, accused Mr. Beast and his team of uh, exhibiting severe complex syndrome, it appears the mission was carried out in partnership with the local communities, which ensured the initiative was um, culturally sensitive and actually addressed their needs. Then the process was also transparent because it was documented from start to finish. And it also appears the local population was educated and empowered on maintaining and replicating the aid work independently. So I think it's very unfair to give them that label. As for the politicians who feel threatened, I think they should see this as an opportunity to collaborate with the philanthropists for the betterment of their constituencies. And then they should also take this as a wake up call to address the areas where their governance is lacking and work towards improvement. So in general, guys should focus on the main goal, which is improving access to clean water and uh, improving of um, the quality of life for the people in need. And they should also stop this unwarranted cynicism because all it's going to do is uh, discourage future philanthropic acts, which can be crucial for some areas which are in dire need. 
So I don't know what uh, your thoughts are. Are you commending Mr. Beast and his team for his efforts or are you in opposition? So just let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to link Mr. Beast's video at the bottom and at the end of this footage. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.